what's up Aries welcome back to the channel and let's get into your November 2021 tarot and astrology reading this will resonate most if you were an Aries rising but you may find some messages in here if you're an Aries sun or moon so make sure to check out your other readings as well so Aries there is a major push and pull going on this month the month of November for you and really everybody but for you it could feel pretty intense because we have a lot going on in your eighth house sector which deals with power struggles it deals with deep subconscious shit that can be out of your control or certain circumstances that can be out of your control it deals with emotional attachments it deals with finances debt and lack it deals with major changes crisis transformation and change and also death and things that happen from death like inheritance and stuff like that it, it's a time of catharsis and you could really feel like there are things that you need to be doing or certain obligations or commitments that, that you've made that you're trying to, you know, keep and that you're trying to fulfill. But at the same time, you could feel like there are also all of these deep, profound changes going on that are keeping you still. And this could also be a month that brings up many choices for you because we have a lot of choice cards here so far a lot of crossroads a lot of kind of like a fork in the path kind of energy and so i feel like you're kind of at this push and pull between solitude and working on yourself versus leading the pack and being the Aries that you are full balls to the wall ahead right your ruling planet is in your eighth house and so you're going to be really feeling that Scorpio energy. It's going to be a time of really trying to figure out if you should move forward or if you should stand still. Uh, there could be a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles as well uh, because we have the mountain card here which deals with obstacles that can feel impossible at the time. Doesn't mean that they are, it just can feel that way at the time. But at the same time, we have the Dragon's Lair card, which is about risk and taking risk and certain red flags and, you know, things up ahead, but also a certain level of excitement and getting out of your comfort zone. And so once again, this kind of push-pull between solitude, right, staying still with this deep freeze card it is that time of year where it's like time to hibernate time to focus on self versus being the leader that you know that you are taking the risk and doing what you do helping people through or uh or at least helping yourself through you know what i mean facing some kind of challenge facing some kind of fear so what i'm kind of seeing here though aries is you don't have to do one or the other and that's like the main message i think here for you it does not have to be oh i'm either you know going to completely be out of the spotlight and completely in solitude and shutting the whole world off versus out and doing things etc etc it does not have to be one or the other uh you know we have this make a choice card here right so it can feel very much like one or the other and we have the two of cups and the two of swords and so it can feel like this or that you know we also have the lovers so but what i'm really getting here is a certain sense of figuring out how to do both giving yourself some time especially in that first part this first part of november the first couple of weeks and learning more we have the education card here learning more taking your time learning what you need to learn understanding what you need to understand uh educating yourself before you make any kind of decision or before you make an impulsive decision or an impulsive choice because this month is full of impulsivity which can lead to certain backlash that we don't want or that is unexpected and so we do have to be careful of that it can also feel this month like you are in certain situations where it's like no one agrees with you like you're trying to possibly tell people things or you're trying to like bring some kind of message with the uh seven of cups here and the ace of swords but like maybe people aren't really understanding or there's some kind of miscommunication 
Um, this could also just be that you are confused on which choice to make. It can seem like you can be pretty overwhelmed with what you should do. There could be a lot of confusion going on. And then we have the Empress here. This tells me, once again, I think taking this first part of the month and really focusing on you and really doing what you need to do for you, making sure that you face the things internally that you need to face or deal with whatever baggage or issues are coming up especially if they deal with a relationship or with some kind of connection to somebody else. You know, the eighth house can also deal with our financial obligations to others or their financial obligations to us, uh, shared resources and finances. So if you are in a relationship and you share finances or you both own the house or whatever the case may be, something could be going on with that or something could be going on with your partner's finances or money as well. That is another way it can play out. But either way, I feel like this is a month of taking that first half of the month and really going inward, really allowing yourself to move through any challenges, fears, upheaval, you know, situations that come up, or especially around that Scorpio new moon on the fourth, and allowing yourself to fully process that, deal with that, and then moving forward. Another big message I want to give you this month, Aries, it can feel like you're going through a lot. We have a lot, <laughs> a lot coming out in your tarot here that can really feel like you're you're going through a lot, you know, emotionally, physically, you may be feeling somewhat drained. You're trying to reach some kind of goal, milestone, you know, you're, you're trying to reach, you're trying to reach that milestone, but at the same time, it can feel like very exhausting, especially if you're pushing yourself too hard this month. This month is not a month that you want to push yourself too hard that you you want to pay attention to your limits okay because if not it can have certain backlash that you may not want to deal with right and so with this mars saturn square your ruling planet mars is coming into a challenging square with saturn saturn is about slow down take your time do things the right way do things the way that's actually going to last instead of just hurrying up and doing it and it not coming out right you know what i mean whereas mars is about hurrying up and doing it and saturn's like uh no like we need to do this the right way and so you could really be feeling that in your life this kind of push and pull you know mars square saturn is like trying to drive with your with your emergency brake up. If you try to rush through things, if you try to make impulsive choices and do things in a very impulsive, quick, fast-paced way to just try to hurry up and deal with it, it's not going to fix it. It's not going to help. It's going to actually likely make it more overwhelming. And so just take your time. You can still do things, but do things in a way that you know is the right way that you know is going to in the long run be beneficial right and so you can actually use this energy as a disciplined form of action rather than just action right like actually making sure that you are doing things in a very disciplined steady way that is stable and i think that could help tremendously right that could that could really help a lot of you guys tremendously if you can if you can kind of take that advice this month and if you can really allow yourself to do that instead of getting caught up in the drama of things because i see kind of here like a lot of conflict possibly with other people what i'm kind of seeing here is like some kind of conflict with someone else we have the nine of wands and the five of pinnacles here so there could be a financial situation that you are determined to fix or that involves that could possibly for some of you involve someone else where you're trying to defend something or something along those lines. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So there are certain fears that are coming up uh, around life and finances and change and all of that that are going to need to be faced this month. But you cannot just wallow in your fears and worry about it. You have to face it, right? You have to face it and you have the strength to do that. Um, if you try to resort to the five of swords, which is basically like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to take a shortcut. It's going to end up being futile in a month like this, Aries. It is going to end up being futile. And so I know as much as this energy can be a little bit off-putting, I'm not trying to be super negative here. Uh, I'm just being honest. This month, it can. you're one of the signs that this month can be kind of difficult for, okay? And so 
but if you can face these things that are emotionally deep and profound, um, you can go through a major transformation where you actually end up breaking free of old emotional attachments and restrictions that have been holding you back. You can actually go through a major liberating transformation where you feel free of oh, so many burdens that, you know, have possibly been holding you back for a while. Okay. And so, you know, Mars moving through Scorpio is ending a two year cycle that started like around this time in, uh, 2019. If you're able to actually do things in a way that is not just haphazardly trying to rush through things, if you're actually able to face these things head on, even when they seem difficult, if you're able to take the lead, if you're able to like, you know, it's, it's scary, but at the same time, if you're able to find the excitement in it, if you're able to slow down and really make sure you have your facts straight, really make sure you know what the hell you're doing, right? And if you're able to also at the same time work on you and practice self-care this month, then I think you will come out on top. The Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here. You will be able to manage these issues and in a way that will completely change the way that you think about yourself and will allow you to see just how badass you really are. <laughs> you know, we go through times like this, right? We go through these kinds of challenging periods so we can learn more about ourselves, right? And so we can evolve. If things were just good all the time, they would get boring and there would be no growing, no evolving, everything would just be the same all the time. And so we have to go through these challenging times to come out on top and to show ourselves just how badass and strong we really are. And that is what's happening with you here, Aries. Like you are going to be able, if you can handle this, if you can handle this month in a responsible way without just avoiding it or without just like trying to rush through it or take a shortcut, if you can do the responsible thing, and if you can also face things at the same time, then I think that you will really come out on top this month. I think that you will, by the end of this month, you will have learned so much about yourself and came out as like a whole new person, right? And uh, financially, also be in a better spot, you know, security and stability wise, be in a better spot and feel more alive within yourself and trust yourself a lot more and be more stable within yourself. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing for you and your cards here, Aries, and really in your astrology too, but some other stuff going on. So we have the Scorpio new moon on the fourth. Hopefully you're seeing this before then. I am a little bit behind on filming these, but that new moon is really going to kick things off for you with your eighth house stuff happening. It is going to be, you know, that, that new moon is going to be drudging up something that, you know, it could kind of be like the, the starting point of where you're whatever happens, whatever situation comes up that you need to face or work through, it could start coming up around this new moon. Uh, and then we will also have Mercury and Scorpio by the 5th. And we will also have the Mercury and Mars conjunction around the 7th. So these first couple weeks, you know, with the Saturn squares are probably going to be like the most intense. It could feel like, you know, you're trying to do certain things in your future. You have certain commitments and obligations, etc. But you have these other things going on that really need your attention that are really really important. And so, like I said, that kind of push-pull energy where you're trying to make a choice, should I stay or should I go? Um, should I go inward or should I go outward? You know, like, should I do this or should I do that? And so, um, it, it's definitely like, I, like I said, there's a way that you can kind of integrate both into your reality. You can take the first part of this month, which is kind of like the most intense and really work on the things that need to be worked on and then take like the second part to really do the other things that you're trying to do. So yeah, that is basically what I'm seeing here, Aries. Uh, it could be a, a major month where you are making really big changes in regards to your connections financially and um, also your emotional attachments and things that need to be changed that have been kind of out of your control. It's like getting a handle on things that have been out of your control for some time. So 
definitely let me know down below if this video ends up resonating uh, for you guys and definitely let me know throughout the month if it ends up resonating. I'd love to hear it. I'm very invested in, <laughs> in what's going on here. So I'd really love to hear how different people end up seeing this play out. Like I said, the astrology is more so going to resonate if you're an Aries rising. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you so, so much for watching.